Okay, good afternoon class. My name is Corporal Christensen and we are going to be going over task 071, Charlie Oscar Mike 0815, practice noise, light, and litter discipline. Before we begin, I am going to go over some administration stuff. The overall risk is low. There are some hazards and other conditions we need to be aware of. First off, we have a ceiling fan in this classroom. Just be aware of its presence and stay clear of it. Do not put any limbs or any other objects in the ceiling fan. There are also wires and other miscellaneous things, including classroom cats that may come into this classroom. Just be aware of their presence and do not interact with any of those objects. Behind me, I have some shelves that are shoulder and head height. Just be aware and do not hit your head on those objects either. There are also assisting lights in this classroom to make sure that this class is nice and clear. If the lights are to go off, just stay where you are, do not move, and we will get some source of light in here so that way we are safe. Okay, moving on. Additionally, there are some environmental considerations. Right now, the weather is under a winter advisory. There is to be about a foot of snow. So just be aware, coming in and out of classroom, that there is quite a lot of snow out there. Physical security, if there is by chance an active shooter, first, we will run, second, we'll hide, and third, if we need to, we will fight. Now I'm going to conduct an initial PCC and PCI. So get out all the materials I requested, including your water source, pen and paper, canteen cup, dog tags, and a poncho. This is a poncho, not a blanket. Just remember that. Poncho, not a blanket. Okay. Now that I've checked that everybody has all the equipment that I requested, we're going to go into the class. I'm going to read the tasks and conditions verbatim. 071, Charlie Oscar Mike, 0815. Practice noise, light, and litter discipline. You are a member of a mounted or dismounted element conducting a tactical mission and you have been directed to comply with noise, light, and litter discipline. Enemy elements are in your area. Some iterations of this task should be performed in MOP 4. We will not be performing this task in MOP 4. I requested some extra materials for this class, including some tape and a flashlight. The standards of this task. Prevent enemy from lo locating your element by exercising noise, light, and litter discipline at all times. There are no special conditions and the safety risk is low. Okay, I'm going to go directly into the performance steps. Exercise noise discipline. Avoid all unnecessary vehicular or foot movement. Secure metal parts to prevent them from making noise during the movement. So I am going to exercise what I mean by that when it comes to noise discipline. You are going to take your tape and secure your canteen cup with the tape while being quiet. You are also going to take your dog tags and tape them up as well. As you can see, you can do that while being quite quiet. That is my standard of this class. Note, 
do not obstruct any moving parts of a weapon or a vehicle. Avoid all unnecessary talk. You should be able to do those tasks without making any excessive noise or talking while doing it. Use radio only when necessary. Set radio volume to low so only you can hear. Use visual techniques to communicate. So that is all the hand signals that you have learned previously. Okay, now we're going to move into light discipline. Light discipline also includes do not smoke. Note, the smoking of a cigarette or cigars can be seen and smelled by the enemy. Conceal all flashlights and other light sources so that the light is filtered. For example, using a flashlight under a poncho. As you guessed, you will use your poncho. You will open it up, you will get under it, you will illuminate your flashlight. Then you will turn off your flashlight and we should have not seen any light coming from that. Second, next you will cover or blacken any reflective lights, for example metal surfaces and vehicle glass. Conceal vehicles and equipment with available natural camouflage. For example, parking the trucks within the tree line so that way it is covered mostly by the tree line. Okay, now we're going to exercise litter discipline. Establish a litter collection point, empty food containers, empty ammunition cans, or boxes, old camouflage, when occupying a position. Verify all litter has been collected in preparation of leaving a position. Take all litter with you when leaving position. How we are going to conduct this in this training, we are going to move all of our requested equipment over here to exercise that we have collected all of our gear while we leave a point. Pretty easy. You should be able to do that without making any noise as well because you have already taped your metal pieces of equipment. Okay, now that I, now that I have showed the standards and how I expect this class to go, you will have five minutes to practice. Now that you have practiced, do you have any other questions? No questions? Then I'm going to go ahead and go into the evaluation. I am going to restate the task conditions and standards. 071 Charlie Oscar Mike 0815 Practice noise, light, and litter discipline. Conditions. You are a matter excuse me. Conditions. You are a member of a mounted or dismounted element conducting a tactical mission, and you have been directed to comply with noise, light, and litter discipline. Enemy elements are in your area of operation. Some iterations of this task should be conducted in MOP 4. We will not be conducting this training in MOP 4. I have also requested tape and flashlight as extra equipment for this task. Standards. Prevent enemy from locating your element by exercising noise, light, and litter discipline at all times. There are no special conditions and the safety risk is low. Now that I have read the task conditions and standards, will I have one member of the squad volunteer to be evaluated? All right, now that we have one successfully trained our squad member, we have three trained and six untrained. For retrain and re-evaluation, it will be conducted tomorrow, February 17th at 0900 in this building, classroom B115 in OCPs. So it will be tomorrow in this room at, the, at 09. You will bring all the same materials and equipment that you had today, tomorrow. 
Are there any questions? Re-evaluations will be the same day following the retrain at 10 hundred. Are there any questions about that? Okay, now I will conduct a post PCC and PCI. So go ahead and get out all the equipment that we had out earlier, including your water source, paper, pen, canteen cup, dog tags, and poncho. Go ahead and place the tape and the flashlight in front of you on the table so that can be collected. Okay, now we're going to conduct the AAR over practice noise, light, and litter discipline. Rules. Everyone has the right to speak and I want to encourage a maximum participation. Please do not talk over each other and always be respectful of different viewpoints. What was supposed to happen? Today I was supposed to train you on the standards of noise, light, and litter discipline according to 071 Charlie Oscar Mike 0815. What did happen? I started by oops, excuse me, introducing myself today, introducing the class, and going over all the risks and safety hazards we have. We went over the environmental considerations and that this is a green academy. Please don't forget to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Last thing we went over in that section, we did any physical um, security issues. We conducted a PCC and PCI in the very beginning. That way we knew we had all the equipment we needed. And I went over all the tasks, standards, and conditions of this class. You were given five minutes to practice and I evaluated one of our soldiers. I gave you the information of retraining and reevaluation, and we just conducted another PCC and PCI, making sure that we had all of our equipment still and everything was in working condition. Okay. So first off, what went right in this training? Next, what went wrong? Okay, now that we went over what went right in this training and what went wrong, what can I do to improve this class for next time? Okay, now that I have noted all my improvements, I'm going to summarize the AAR. I first briefed what was supposed to happen in this class, then I briefed you guys on what did happen. You guys gave me feedback of what went right and what went wrong and how I can improve this class for next time. So were there any injuries or damage to the equipment that I did not know of? No injuries? Okay, so that I'm going to assume that all my control measures implemented were effective. Okay, now that we have finished the AAR, I'm going to check over my paperwork and make sure that all my paperwork is completed before we close out this training area. While I am checking my paperwork, you guys are going to conduct a police call of this area and make sure there is no trash or anything left behind. All right, I wanna thank you guys for your participation and making sure that this area is clean. I have no further instruction of this task and I will release you to your individual instructions. Sergeant, this training is complete and I would like to request to close out this training area.